Hello, 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 everyone. This is Tolly Says D from the 803. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Here to do a quick video on um, everything that has transpired from the Love and Marriage Reunion Part 2 last night. Okay. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, you know, um, but before we get started, you know, I got to do my spill. Remember, all things on this channel is alleged, in my opinion. It is for learning. It is for teaching. It is for entertainment purposes only. Um, you guys, um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. If you want to join the channel, you can join the T-Crew for $4.99 a month. You can cancel at any time, okay? Um, Patreon, I'm on Patreon as well. We'll be going live um, this weekend from Huntsville. Um, and if the weather permits, because there is an Arctic blast that's coming, but regardless, I'm going. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, um, so um, y'all can um, join me on Patreon and also, also consider uh, joining my backup channel subscribing because you know these people in these youtube streets get a little crazy okay so you guys remember last night you know betty krueger and her daughter tried to come for me okay um mel they were actually mad at mel because they thought that they that stormy was the one that actually recorded them and if you go back and look at the clips, when Destiny showed a clip of somebody, it was on one of the networks or something, one of the big channels. Um, it wasn't even a recording of what Stormy was alleged. Somebody took that and ran with it. And that's why Mel said, that's why I said, she said that I don't let anybody in my house. Stormy, with her guilty conscience, thought she was talking about her she wasn't talking about you stormy but if she wanted to she could okay um thought she was talking about her and she wasn't and people start to go in on stormy but now people don't remember that you know betty before even stormy was even on this show betty was in those groups and talking about mail and you know all kinds of stuff my theory is Stormy knew Coleslaw. Coleslaw knew Stormy. Stormy found out about Martell being on the show. Martell, they became great friends. She became, um, and uh, she contacted Mel, in my opinion, to be ambassador for her product. Now, she didn't know Mel, and Mel didn't know her, but she knew Martell. And Martell, in my opinion, she is another one of Martell Flying Monkeys. She got onto the show pretending to be male friends, just like Destiny. Her and Destiny got into it, you know, trying to prove her loyalty to Melody. And um, then she would call out, you know, Tisha, call out Kiki, just being Melody, ride or die, trying to get our favor. And then she started moving cricket. She started moving snakish. Her body was moving to the left. But her head was going to the right, okay? She started contradicting herself. She started having outbursts and, and going like she had 500 different personalities. And then all of a sudden, you saw her hanging with the Scots, begging for Destiny's friendship. And now Destiny can't stand her and they never liked Stormy. Let's just be clear, Stormy still. Destiny was never your friend. She took that damn Gucci purse and sold it and paid some rent. That's what she did with it. Uh, truth be known. But anyway, let me get on back on subject. Um, she befriended Mel through Martell. That's why she got so upset. Because she really thought Mel knew about her and Martell being friends. That's that's the guilt. That's that hit dog mentality. Okay? Um, and so from there, it was down here. He, he, she was partying with Sheree and Martell. She was partying with the Scots. You know, um, she was talking to Wanda. Uh, she was doing all this nonsense. And then, you know, giving Tisha products. 
We saw it. Y'all can't deny it. Y'all can't. Production busted you. Okay? Busted you. All right? And um, denying products and saying that Tisha, you know, uh, there was Tisha using her, you know, her return shipment policy verbatim. Uh, there was so much stuff going on you guys now they don't like each other but it's mighty funny that betty doesn't say not one word to tisha but she got all the smoke for melody okay mm -hmm. okay betty pop popcorn dragon face bigger i need you to take several seats and go back and sit down because you too old to be up on this show acting like the demonized popcorn caramelized face person that you are okay you need to go home learn to be a mother wife get you a little bit because they, you, you seem teased up honey you seem like a raggedy piece of luggage that hadn't been open in 10 years all right go on and stop trying to get up in mail business and try to tell mail oh so you didn't see those tweets you didn't go up under there did you go up under there and defend mail did you go up under there when tisha was talking about um your daughter did you go up under there when they came for her then no who does that you don't even do that so just sit down shut up with your rectangle looking body and your crunchy looking face and that nasty profile no good foul mouth of yours to be a mother a well, not a matriarch, because you you're not a matriarch, okay? Um, it is ridiculous how Ma, uh, CK let these women, these so-called mothers, come on this show and just attack male when they should be talking to their daughters to improve them. It just doesn't make sense to me, and I'm with you, Dustin, on that. Ma, uh, Melody's mom, Miss Van, comes on, encourages male. She don't get in and mess unless you come for her. Then she going to get you told straight, very elegantly. But you got these mothers that's on here that are just coming for mail for a little bit of five minutes of fame and making themselves look like a damn fool. And that's what they look like, a fool. Um, instead of having these mothers say, look, you and Mel need to talk. Y'all need to hash it out because y'all two successful business women. You know, you should have mothers on the show like that. We got enough ghetto, hoochie-fied, hood wretch looking mamas on every show. We don't need that. Oh, God. Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think about Betty because Betty is off the chain and she is bit, very bitter. Not better. She's very um, angry, but she's angry at the wrong person, okay? She's not happy with her life. She doesn't have a life. She doesn't have any joy. She doesn't have anything. She does. She's just living and not, she's surviving and not living. And she's surviving in evil, okay? So you guys, let me know what you think about Betty crunch face steel okay popcorn peddler okay rectangle spongebob okay and stormy you can control your mama because your mama hurt your brand people don't like your mother and when they don't like your mother and they see how you move they're going to stop buying from you because if you can't control your mama and tell her look i don't need you making things worse then you know what? You can't control nothing, okay? And it's always a respectful way. Because my mama, I wouldn't have had her on the show if I knew my mama was a loose cannon, okay? If I knew she was a colonel getting ready to pop out in some hot butter, she would have stayed a colonel, okay? She would not have come on the show and embarrassed my brand. But see, you can't do nothing with her because you just like her. You're evil. You're manipulative. You're a liar. You're a plotter. You don't belong on this show. You don't. You really don't. You want people to think you're a boss, but baby, we know you ain't a boss. 
you know, we know you paying the costs. That TikTok money going to that uh, them creditors. Honey, you ain't made a profit yet. It is what it is. Be truthful about it. Don't sit up there and act like you better than the people when you just as broke as I am. Shit. I'm just here to tell you, sis. <laughs> Hun, that TikTok money going to them creditors. And baby, you owe a lot of money. $1.1 million. Okay? So, don't sit here and tell me. You ain't you rich. Nah, you ain't rich. Mm -mm. You got to itch to be rich. But you ain't rich. But anywho. And ain't none of them on million dollars. No millionaires on that stage but male. Okay? And the Fletchers. The rest of them struggling. Scratching and surviving. That's what they're doing. Alright? They wish they saw a million dollars. Child, please. But anywho, and anyway. Y'all, tell me what you think about Van Ho. <laughs> Miss, uh, not Miss Van. Miss, uh, uh, What's her name? Betty Ho. Oh, Betty Ho. -ho. Betty Ho. Betty Crunch Face Ho. Okay. And 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 why they don't have Miss Van on this show with some some kind of dignity to show some kind of matriarch or the family, somebody who is uplifting and positive. Cause Carlos, you can't have mess all the time. You got to balance this out. I'm sorry. You got to balance it out. It's too much. If you're gonna have this many episodes there needs to be a balance there needs to be things done and there needs to stop being biases because you are very biased and you don't need to host these shows you're too biased i'm sorry it is what it is all right you guys let me know again hit the like button share this video comment below if you want to give to the channel Dollar sign Teresa Lindsay 12 Super chat, super stickers, super emojis And I will talk to you guys tonight at 6.30 Bye y'all